I know. What's that? Wet baby. <laughs> oh, the joy. The simple joy is of a sprinkler, right? It's Sunday morning, and all of us are going to go to the school. Maria and Tristan are going to run. Mason is going to practice his biking, and Hayden will practice his walking. And later on, we're going to do our full of brick live stream and this afternoon I have my second lug meeting with Toro Lug. Hi. So we'll see how that goes. We're here at the school. This time Mason is here plus Maria and Tristan. And Maria and Tristan are gonna run. They're first gonna do two laps and then four consecutive laps. I'm gonna be with Mason here and Hayden. Hayden's gonna practice walking. We're not relying biking. Yeah. Good job biking. How fast can you go? Go fast. Nice. Do you know how to get up? That's the barrier. You all ready, Tristan? You're gonna do two laps for the first one with mommy. Yeah. And then four laps for the second one. Mm. That's and there they go. There they go. Well, okay. We... You need to start up again. Here, throw it. I guess Tristan is in the lead. Nice. Six oh four. <laughs> and there they go for round number two. This time they're gonna do four laps consecutive. Right? And this guy is biking, biking, biking. Let's see how fast you can go. As fast as I was going. Pedal hard, hard, hard. Good job, looking strong. Almost on the first lap. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. He's going to catch you. He's coming hard. He's going to catch you. Whoa. 13.31. Good job. And this is our break time. You have to catch your bike. Daddy's such a good bike rider. Biker? Okay, go get it. Hi, baby. Wow, look at your fun shadows. Do we still have time to go to the gym? What time is it? Oh, right, okay. Let's go play, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Seven point one zero. Seven point three two. Seven point three one. My knee. Six point nine three. That's your fastest, Tristan. Seven point zero zero. Seven point two five. Seven point zero six. Fourteen point seven eight. Good job. Good job. Fourteen point two one. My stomach was all over. Wow. Fourteen point two eight. Here we are at Sunset Grill post run but pre gym. I figured we're not gonna last long to go to the gym straight from running. Hey, 
Go look for what you're looking for. You want pancakes? This is what I made for my Toro Lug meeting. We were given five of these cone pieces and we were supposed to make something with them. So just made this right now and I'm not sure what it is, but Tristan says it looks like a battlefield, maybe like the Hunger Games. So this is where all the Hunger Game happens. And then this is the, the watch tower here where they can watch. So here's another angle of what it is. And again, it's micro scale because that's what I'm known for, making micro scale mocks. And I'm also gonna bring this to the meeting, my Big Bang Theory mock that I made where I expanded the original Big Bang Theory. So we'll see what everyone thinks about this. Sunday. Not that we didn't start our Sunday. Actually, we've done a lot already, right? Yeah. We ran this morning. How many kilometers did we run? Like, I think Daddy said that was three. Mm -hmm. And then you did our sprints. But we are just now finally going to the gym. There's no more activities in the gym. So you can have a relaxing, relaxing time at the gym while I try to work out. Grass is cut. Laundry's done. House can be cleaned more. but And then I also finished reading or listening to um, Water for Elephants. So that was good. And I'm um, starting... Harper Lee's new posthumous release book, uh, To Kill a Watchman, I think. And it's narrated by Reese Witherspoon, which coincidentally was is the actress uh, in the movie Water for Elephants. I will hopefully watch that movie on Netflix sometime soon to see if it's uh, very different from the book. They usually have some adjustments. Yes. Get into the elevator again. It's a little late, isn't it? But you know what? I actually prefer that we come this late Mom. because there's hardly anyone Mom. at the workout area. Are you gonna, are you gonna run with me? No. You wanna run with me? No. You wanna keep it company? Mom, Mom, let me tell you something. If we were in the chair and doors, do you wanna know who me, Mason, and Hayden would be? If I would be grumpy, I would be happy, and he would be dopey. Uh. Dopey. No, it's not dopey. Yes, he is. He's dopey. He He's runs all over the place. Why is he dark? He's... Yeah, let's go. You're, you're okay, trying to do at the gym today since we didn't have any more of the programs. Yeah. You guys are just running around playing tag, huh? Yeah. Sort of like the good old days. Oh, that's good. I that's ran good. three more K and did some weights, but the funny thing was I actually 
locked our keys in the car. Yep. So I didn't realize it. I was just, you know, trying to get the kids into the gym. It's always one big chaos after another, especially when Mason takes a nap and he's all Mason cranky. He does that a lot. He falls asleep between short distances and he says, wake me up when we get there. And when we do, he is just nothing but a ball full of crank. Anyhow, because it was all fun chaotic, I thought, okay, I'm just going to stuff all of my purse contents into my gym bag and go with the flow forgetting that I had already put the car keys into my purse which I then proceeded to lock in the van. I only realized it when I was already getting changed into my workout wear and thank god Nick was still home because I know he's on his way to his Torah log meeting. Dun, dun, dun. And he proceeded to become our savior. Dun, dun, dun. So he was able to open up the car with the spare from home dun, dun, dun. and I took all my purse in. And the lesson for this, Mason, is to dun, dun, dun. not go to nap. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna go to Costco, but then I forgot that Costco closed at five, and it's already quarter to five. I don't think they'll let us in, even if we're like, please let us in. We have money to spend for groceries in Costco. So instead, I have to make our way home, uh, get these kids showered, maybe have an early start to the evening, uh, if. Still have to finish one more load of laundry. No, um, why but they're not going to let us in. If they let us in, more people will, will go in. That is a very logical response, Mason. That is correct. How did you know that? I just thought about it. So uh, now we're going to go to uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, like PC Plus points, because um, those people acquired Shoppers Drug Mart. They now they have their own app to put more points into your card if you want to. I'm going to uh, take advantage of that. They're offering me 3,000 points to spend $10 on food, which is 30 times the points, which is better than any of their point system. So I have to use it. I mean, I can always buy cheese and bread and milk, right? Okay, time for Shoppers Drug Mart. Maybe we'll just buy more ice cream. Is that part of groceries? So Tristan and I are having a coconut ice cream fruit terror bar each. Delicious. I finished. Not Mason. He suddenly has a tummy ache. I think it's from his lack of eating proper, healthy, nutritious foods. Terrible mother that I am. I but uh, I get so excited when I try to synchronize all of my points and my coupons and all of my discounts. So one of the apps he also uses is Checkout 51, which is like a reverse couponing. It gives you all of the products that they have. <laughs> That you can redeem cash back if you purchase it one of it being fruit hair bars and you get a oh dollar my. back what did you discover there the sprinkler i'm trying to revive some life in poor wawa's dead grass you having so much fun wow isn't it cold <laughs> how about this way how come it's not moving mommy broke the sprinkler it was moving. I broke it. Is it so fun? That's called water. No, I don't know why. It's not moving. Oh no, Hayden, you're like getting super soaked. Let's go inside the house and take a shower. Take a shower. Come on, go. Don't be rude. I know. What's that? Wet baby. <laughs> oh, the joy. The simple joys of a sprinkler, right? <laughs> we are now fighting to get you away from the sprinkler, but you should see the sprinkler in the backyard. Come on, come here. Over here, over here. Hayden. Hayden, you're going to fall face forward. Mom. You'll be mangled. Come on, cool butterfly. Hello, Mr. Butterfly or Moth. Um, yep, yeah. so gone. Let's go to Wawa's backyard, magical backyard of more flowers. Okay, let's go to the backyard. We can have another different oh, kind oh, of sprinkler. Oh, oh Delina, yes. Oh, I need to cut your grass again. I don't want your shoes wet. Do you have flip-flops here in this house? No, no. That's fun. We have one too in our backyard. I just can't remember where I put it. Whoa. 
<laughs> this is my mommy's garden. She loves to garden. I cut her grass. She doesn't like to cut her grass. You did? You cut it again. Did you figure out the thing? Oh yeah, look at mommy's peppers. She bought all these peppers from Costco. They told her it was yellow and green. You got the yellow and red, so that's good. Bring your iPad there, it's gonna ruin your iPad. We're going to ruin it. It's going to get destroyed and then what? Silly boy. And then no more iPad for you. Mason, help turn him around so he can wiggle wiggle car again. May. Okay. Okay, let him wiggle his foot. His foot is stuck, buddy. There. Okay, you're okay now. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, don't please. Don't wet him. What's this? Let's see your car. Okay, that's enough for it. Back to the shower now. That's your big bubble maker. Huh. Hey, hey. What are you doing? I've turned it off. There is no more sprinkler. Let's go. Watch your step. Good job, Bubba. Come here.